Hope you're doing well. Sorry for the bad lighting today, but it's pretty cloudy outside, so I don't have any natural light. A few weeks ago, my future college roommate and I were looking for some cheap dorm decor ideas. We, I found this really cute paper from an Etsy shop, and it had a saint quote, and then a few like, flowers or pictures on it. And I had a few lazy weekends ahead of me, so I decided I wanted to create my own version. So today I'll be showing you how to make super cute and affordable sign quote wall art. So to do this project, I'm just doing a flat white canvas. And first you wanna paint the entire canvas white. Just as evens out the color and gives it a nice base. Okay, so while you wait for your canvas to dry, this is how I get the quote part of my sign. I just open up TextEdit. I use TextEdit because you can download different fonts that you like. I just keep a document with all my favorite saint quotes in it, so I just copy and paste it into the TextEdit, and then I download a font that I like. You just size it to whatever size will fit your canvas, and then I also like to center it. And if you want to find a cute font, you just want to just, just Google cute fonts and lots of fonts will pop up that you can download. So once you have it sized the way you want, you need to print it out. Now this is very important. When you print it, you need to print it, print it so that it's a mirror image. I'll you'll understand more later. So this is how I did it for Mac, but a PC would be different. Now you're going to take the page that you printed off and you're going to center it the way you want it on your canvas. You want to hold it very firmly down so that it doesn't shift in your shading. Then you're going to take a pencil. Mechanical pencils don't really work. They're harder to use because you're going to want to press very firmly on the canvas. And then you're just going to shade on the entire canvas. But don't worry, only the places where there's ink on the paper is where stuff is going to transfer. Now you're going to take a fine tip sharpie or a fine tip pen, sharpies will work better, and you're going to trace over your words. This way you have pretty handwriting on the sign. Here's the final product. You can also add flowers on the bottom or mountains or really anything you want to draw. These are two examples I've done in the past and you can see the flowers I did on them. Thank you so much for watching. If you decide to make this yourself, make sure to tag me in it, my Instagram. Uh, username is in the description box below and I would love to see what you guys create. Make sure to subscribe and share my video and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye.